Please don't move and look straight ahead. I promise you won't feel a thing. It's a go for molecular reduction. Spacer is primed. Where you are going, all your worries will seem so small. Nightmare was crazy. Like watching a movie. Spacer? Hominid? I know adults have nightmares about work, but I don't think their kids are supposed to. I have to tell Burgle about this. I'm afraid Dr. Tully did not program me for dream analysis, but I will do my best. Was it perhaps about electric beef? I have always wanted to have that dream. Why don't you describe your dream for me? Aha! That confirms it! There are two spacers, just as Dr. Tully surmised. One in the yard and one at Ominent. He had a hunch that they continued his work on the spacer after he stopped working for them. It all computes! I do not believe these are just dreams. These are surely your memories. But perhaps they only return to you as dreams. So, Ominent shrunk you, and now you are here. Hmm. I am pretty sure you are not an Ominent secret agent. I was JKing. That was a test. You passed. So if you are not an Ominent agent, why would they be sh shrinking children? Surely I have no idea. Yet another puzzle for us to solve. On the plus side, your memories must be slowly returning. If you have another dream, please come again. Body mass readout is an acceptable range. The skin fold degradation is minimal. Specimen vitals are stable and holding. Looks like we've done it. Great job, everyone. Let's set up three more trials for replication. Uh, sorry to crash your party. The Defense Department has arrived early to discuss Project Orc. The director needs you to be present at the meeting. I'm not sure what's worse, our director or a three-hour meeting with the military. experimenting on me and they're working on something called project orc cool name ah more of your fragmented memories let us stack them together like the ingredients of a burger they are a common side effect of the shrinking process the memories that is not the burger metaphors which are simply how I am programmed to understand the world how can I be of assistance? Project Orc? That is certainly not something that Dr. Tully ever discussed with me. Ominent requires its scientists to use code names for their projects. Eventually, the marketing department gets involved to spice it up. I heard one scientist just used American state names in chronological order. Laughing out loud, what a magnificent scheme. But I digress. Whatever Project Orc is, the name does not sound good. If they were following the ominent practical science manual, it is likely they were documenting side effects of the shrinking process, of which there are a few. Short-term memory loss, constipation, dehydration, among other minor ailments. But as for the long-term side effects, nothing to worry about, my friend. You are looking fresher than a non-frozen meat patty. <laughs> Dr. Schmechter, these... Director. Uh, Director Schmechter. These specimens are the breakthrough we've been looking for, just like you predicted. 
We're close to eliminating the raisining problem. Our team was up all night recalibrating the spacer. I see. Of course, my hypothesis was correct. I hope all of you remember this moment the next time you question my methods. Now then, what progress has been made on covalent space expansion? How did Dr. Wendell Tully, a lifetime failure, best the brightest minds at Ominent? Yes, sir. Uh, we're still working on that formula. I know it's been months, but the Embiggen process is far more complicated and dangerous than we predicted. Ugh. Too bad for you, little ones. Prepare the specimens for termination. This isn't what I signed up for. Director Schmechter? <laughs> Come on, Dream. If I ever see that dude again, I'm gonna make him eat all the gross stuff I've had to choke down here. And raisining? Damn, this yard food is worse than pizza for causing nightmares. Virgo, my robot dude, I hope you know what's going on. Always happy to see a re- How can I help you today? How can I be of assistance? Director Schumachter, the head of the science division, oversaw Dr. Tully's projects at Ominent. Dr. Tully's disdain for Director Schumachter was even more than his disdain for soggy french fries. They had many disagreements over the years over the direction of the science division. If Schumachter is involved with this, I can assure you he is up to no good. That is what Dr. Tully would say. I have never met the jab, and so must reserve judgment. Reasoning is an advanced form of dehydration and an unfortunate side effect of the shrinking process on humans. It appears to become worse with each subsequent use of the spacer. Even without prolonged use, it is a degenerative malady that has no cure at this moment. At the time of his disappearance, Dr. Tully himself was keenly experiencing the side effects of reasoning and was actively working on a solution. That research is currently on hold. Good news for you, however. Ocular analysis indicates a normal number of folds on your face for a human of your age. All right, here they are. All tucked in with the outfits and backpacks they were snatched in. As requested, they're strapped and synced with scabbies for whatever they might run into down there. You do realize the director will have our heads if he finds out we're removing company property. Can you sleep at night with what this company is doing? We need to do something. Is Dr. Tully even alive? The field team reported him missing months ago. You are prolonging the inevitable. Wendell, wherever he is, is the only hope for these kids. I'll make the delivery to his yard discreetly. No one is even going to know. I hope you know what you're doing. Wow. Thank you, Mrs. Ominent Scientist. If he hadn't saved me, I'd have been stopped by Schmetzer for sure. I wonder if she knows Mom.